Yeah, Lisa, well, here on Van Blarkham, you don't have to go very far to see the damage of a flash flood. I mean, take a look at this giant hole, all caused by rushing water. Hey, take a look down there. This thing is probably two stories down there. It ate up the guardrail part of the road, and this wasn't even the most dangerous part of the flooding. The only thing that came up as fast as the water. There's a car, and it's flooded on rapid run really bad. Was an emergency. The water was rising quickly. And Sandra Patterson found herself waist deep in it. Before rescue arrived, she saw drivers stranded in rising water on Rapid Run Road, cars beginning to float. She waited out to help, and suddenly things got even more intense. And you know, the water's probably up midway to like on my waist. And then I asked him, We got to get the baby out. You need to give me the baby. We need to go. She grabbed the baby. The parents bailed out the windows. They all got out of the water and turned around to see what could have been. It was about three seconds. That's how, I mean, it was already, you know, pretty high. And then it just, it, the car was gone. Emergency crews arrived, but that wasn't the only rescue. I would have been really scared if I didn't see the fireman right there. Don Kelty was also on rapid run when he suddenly found himself floating along. And then I'm just sitting in it and the water started filling up and it went all the way up to my waist. It filled up all the whole seat. It took firefighters to pull the door open against the force of the water to get Don out and to safety. A day later, some local businesses were still cleaning up while others were left to consider the disaster avoided. I really honestly believe it was in God's hands. Um, that car just went under that quick. Very fortunate it ended up the way it did. Meanwhile, here on Van Blarkham, well, they said it could be months before this road's repaired and opened again. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian.